Hi there, Greg Sarno with Artist at Autodesk. I just want to quickly cover how to create this dynamic electrical effect using paint effects converted to mesh light in combination with the uh, atmosphere volume. Okay, so I've got the car model here. I'm going to start off by creating a nerve circle, which we can use to attach the, the paint effects brush to. Just position it around the car like so. And if you open up the content browser window, and under paint effects, under the fun folder, if you type in curvy, we use the tree curvy brush there. So with the circle and the brush selected, just go attach brush to curves. That will create the paint effects stroke and attach it to the circle. So just hide the circle and under the paint effects brush scale, we'll scale that up quite high. So something like 12,000. And then under tubes, uh, behavior, turbulence, we want to make sure that world displacement and smooth over time and space is enabled. And then we can also increase the frequencies quite high so that when it animates, it'll uh, create this kind of electrical effect. First, we need to convert it to a mesh. So converting to elegance will do that. Uh, just ungroup that, that's the mesh there. And then under the Arnold properties of the mesh, just convert that to mesh light. Uh, increase the exposure, something like, something like 25. And also project a, a color texture file here. So it's projection, something like spherical. And I've got a colorful ink texture map, which I'm going to use to project that with. And just make sure the light is visible. So let's render that in the viewport. We need to increase the exposure a bit. There we go. So motion blur isn't currently supported in the viewport, so we'll have to open up the render view window to render motion blur. Uh, so let's start off a render. And then, so if we go to the render settings under environment atmosphere, we can create an atmosphere volume there. And just have quite a low density value, bring the black down. Start to see the effect there. And then finally, the motion blur, just enable that. I want to make sure we've got a very high motion blur length. Get that effect going. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.